Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mac and Sack, Shane O'Mac here. I am back. Today, I have a little selection of things that we're going to be opening. Uh, I came across at the dollar store for $2.50 a pack of hockey stickers. So, we have two packs of NHL hockey stickers, and there's five stickers in each pack. So that's going to be exciting to see what kind of stickers, NHL stickers, for $2.50 that the dollar store has to offer. So I think that's pretty cool. We're going to open this. And uh, so came across this, the stickers, two packs of stickers. We have Heroes and Prospects. Oh, Heroes and Prospects here for a pack of hockey cards. So it's an unopened pack of hockey cards. And we have four... Tim Hortons hockey cards today to open from this season as well, from 21-22 season. So we'll be opening all these together. Hopefully we're going to be getting some Toronto Maple Leaf cards because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some Toronto cards. I'm not looking for anything Pacific. I'm just looking for Toronto cards because I'm looking for Toronto items. I'm looking for Toronto memorabilia. So if I can get some Toronto cards, that would be really exciting. Cheers, guys. Here is my Christmas cup. It is a nice Christmas glass. Goes with the nice fancy Christmas sweater. All right, guys. We are going to get the opening here. I think we should start off by opening the stickers first because the stickers aren't cards. We could follow by closing it out with the cards. So, guys, we are going to open the $2.50 stickers. Two packs of stickers with five stickers in each so here we go guys we're gonna do this together and uh if you guys are new to my channel and you guys are just hanging out with me feel free to hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you're also wanting to subscribe so you get all of my new upcoming videos and you can check them out and see what i've come across and found all right guys i'll put my garbage up here because i don't really care i don't need it and uh we will pull this out together out of the garbage and uh, out of the garbage, pull this out of the garbage and we have the casing and the casing just tells you what it was, the front and back, nothing too exciting just to let you know what's inside. So it also comes with a backwood, backboard, backdrop, whatever you guys want to call it, back protector and the two packs of stickers. Here we go guys. So we end up, here we go with our two packs of stickers with five stickers in each and uh, these are from the 2018-19 sticker collection you could probably get like a sticker book for them but I don't have that so I just came across these thought we would open them together and uh, see what kind of stickers you get so here we go I'm gonna tear this apart here like this like so no no need for scissors today for doing this anyways maybe, maybe later but not right now so I'm going to nicely open these up and uh, oh, they're, they're fancy little stickers here. We got uh, Scott Bayfield here and uh, nice little, that's a pretty cool little sticker here. Not bad for little stickers, you know, I don't know what to do with them, but you know, they, uh, they're just pretty cool little stickers. And we got ourselves Dustin Bufflin right here, guys. Uh, the writing's just so small that I won't, I can't really see it, but, so I will turn them so I can see them as well. So, here we go, Washington Capital, which is Alexander Ovechkin. What a great sticker pull, guys. We have an Alexander Ovechkin sticker pull. That's weird. I would never expect to pull that, so here we go. It's card number 260. That's actually really cool. You know what? I'm, uh, I don't know what to really do with these stickers. Oh, wow, look at that one. Oh, it's a Phil Kessel, and it looks like a little bobblehead. That's funny. A blown up head there. That's actually a really cool, those are actually really cool stickers. So, it uh, has a Pittsburgh symbol at the top. Sidney Crosby here, or not Sidney Crosby, Phil Kessel here has a big fat head with a little skinny body. So, that's actually a pretty cool sticker. And uh, actually, I'm, I'm thinking about sleeving them, uh, sleeving some stickers. Why? I don't know. Just to put them with the hockey cards, I guess, to save them. We have a, a Rich, Rickard Rackle right there. Rickard Rackle. What a 
what a different name right there, that's I tell you. And uh, he is an all-star. He is an all-star, they say. So, yes, that's, uh, that's pretty exciting, guys, to get some stickers and uh, to get some stickers that uh, I don't even know what I would do with, honestly. It would be, it's just cool to get some uh, hockey stickers and hopefully it would be really cool to pull a Toronto Maple Leaf sticker. I don't know what kind of Toronto guy we would get, but it would be actually pretty cool to see. I'm actually, I'm going to put the two, Phil, the Phil Kessel, just because it's really shiny and uh, he looks like a bobblehead, so I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to put that sticker inside one of the sleeves. And same with the Alexander Ovechkin. Just because it's it's a pretty cool pretty cool sticker. Alright. So those were the first five pulls of my stickers. Which I, I would never have guessed to get these from the dollar store. Or you guys definitely would have guessed to get them from the dollar store. Again, I don't collect hockey stickers. I don't collect hockey cards. But again, I'm doing this to have some fun. I'm doing this to try and get some Toronto Maple Leaf stuff and some Toronto Maple Leaf cards. Some, maybe some Toronto Maple Leaf stickers. You never know. I got a Toronto Maple Leaf banner. Yes, I did. I opened that up in my eggs there. If you guys did not check out that video, please check out my egg opening video where I opened NHL hockey eggs and uh, I got some Toronto Maple Leaf banners there. And w right here, we're back to our opening sorry opening up the second pack of hockey stickers and uh we got a john carlson john carlson and uh he plays for the capitals as well he's on the same team as alexander ovechkin back in 2018-19 and then we have david savard right here for the columbus blue jackets guys not bad for a sticker that's pretty cool. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, I might put them on a rock to, so I can keep them. But you never know. I don't know what I will do with them. I may not even take them off. I may just keep them on like this and just put them with my hockey stuff. Go. Oh, I didn't. This is Tyson Berry, guys. Tyson Berry. He's been around the league a little bit now. So he is no longer on the Avalanche. He probably now, I think now he plays for... Tyson Berry, I want to say it's Calgary, but again, I could be wrong, but I know he was let go or traded from the Leafs. So here we go, Tyson Berry, that's a great sticker. Oh, here we go. Uh, I remember uh, when people come down and they seen this guy and he would be on a breakaway, they'd be like, oh, she, you know, so we got a TJ Oshi. They'd be like, oh, she, no, not this guy. Yes, so we got another one of those specialty look at me. Yeah, look at me cards. A little bobblehead. TJ Yoshi is looking like a bobblehead. And uh, he's number 453. I think we should sleeve him just because he's one of those cool silver bobblehead stickers. All right. So, obviously, it's I'm not going to do all five of them. But, again, hey, okay, so here's a sticker, guys. Anybody knows what this is, and if you don't know what it is, I am going to tell you. But if you do know what it is, feel free to throw down in the comment box. This is the bottom left corner of Lord Stanley Cup, guys. This is the bottom left corner of Lord Stanley Cup. And you would only know that by looking at it and really actually looking at it. But yes, this is the bottom corner of the Stanley Cup. So obviously I would have to get more stickers, more of these NHL stickers from 2018-19 season, and I will have to get more to collaborate and hopefully finish off the Lord Stanley Cup. So, maybe you guys can tune in and uh, keep track if I come across any more of these nice stickers. So here we got Phil Kessel, a nice sticker, a nice sticker pull. We have an Alexander Ovechkin, nice sticker pull. And we have a TJ Oshi Nice sticker pull. So those are some pretty decent stickers, guys. I can't complain about those. Those are some nice ones. All right. So off to the next because that one's not enough. Here we go, guys. All right. So we're going to put those stickers down because now we're done with the stickers. And right now, instead of opening, everybody, I know everybody's anxious for the <laughs> Tim Hortons hockey cards because I am. I'm hoping to pull a Toronto Maple Leaf card, at least one. I haven't pulled one yet, so I'm still waiting to pull one. And right now, I'm going to open Heroes and Prospects here. So it looks like in the back, excuse me, it looks like in the back, that's an 07-08 season hobby version. 
That looks like Andrew Raycroft right there that played for the Toronto Maple Leafs as uh, James Reimer backed up Andrew Raycroft back in the day. So we're hoping that, I'm hoping that I get a good pull out of them here. I hope I get a Toronto card. That would be really amazing, guys. I don't think I need scissors opening it today. So here we go. Let's uh, get this Heroes and Prospects open and see what we can find, guys. And here we go. So, pack number one. Here we go. I'm just going to set the garbage here off to the left. Nothing too exciting. It's just sitting here. And uh, here we go, guys. All right. We have Matt Molson. If you guys, if you guys uh, think I should sleeve any of these cards, please let me know so that I know what ones to put in sleeves and keep. And again, I don't know anything about the cards or nothing. And uh, if you guys can help me along the line of uh, maybe letting me know or what I should be putting in a sleeve or what I shouldn't, then if I'm doing something that uh, you guys want me to do differently, just let me know in the comments there. And... We'll uh, keep going from there. Here we go. So this is Matt Molson. And then we got, oh, well, everybody knows him, Luke Shen. Guys, I pulled a Luke Shen prospect card. Look at that. That's actually a really cool card because Luke Shen played for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm going to actually sleeve him. I'm going to sleeve him from a prospect. This is the Heroes, Heroes and Prospect cards. I pulled a, a Luke Shen. And that's who, oh, on the, on the back of the Luke Shen card. It shows all of his stats, all of his information, all that good stuff about Luke Shen himself. And I'm actually going to put that in a sleeve. Why? I don't know. Just because it's Luke Shen. He did play for the Toronto Maple Leafs for a very long time. So he deserves to be sleeved. He deserves to be sleeved. All right. And now we have Steve Mason. Yes, Steve Mason. Not bad for a prospect card, so I will also um, be um, sleeving him. I'll sleeve him as well. He'll be going into a sleeve to protect. Got to protect the goalies, right? That's what they say. So here we go. Stats on the back, just like the Luke Shen card. Just normally on the back there. And next but not least, or not least, but next we have he shoots, he scores. The Screaming Eagles. He shoots, he scores. This must be somebody's logo yes this must be a logo for one of the teams there uh cap breton yes one point so this is a in-game card um i it's a redemption player official rules card oh okay so it's uh oh it's so thick it's way thicker than a normal average card here i don't know if you guys can see the difference it's almost too to the thicknesses there of so on the back it says the rules rules and actually i'm gonna put this card it's kind of thick it's kind of bulky it's weird it's one point i don't know what it is i honestly don't know what it is so i'm just gonna put it in a sleeve because i don't know but that's okay that's okay so eventually uh, i know none of these are going to be toronto maple leaf cards but i do know that they could possibly be Toronto Maple Leaf players. And here we go. We have Keith Kachuk. Oh, Keith Kachuk right there, guys. That's actually a pretty good card as well. I think as well. I think it's a pretty good card when he played for Boston. Yes, he was a uh, left wing. And again, there we go. This little information on the back. And I I was going to sleeve him, but I changed my mind. I'm going to leave him. And here we go. We have a Zach Turcato. He played for the Otters, Erie Otters. So, I don't know. Again, I don't know anything about these guys. I don't know anything about the cards. I'm just keeping them just to keep them. I might even get a binder and start a binder to start just collecting cards and stuff. Or come across cards when I do and see what ones I get. Alright guys, so that's the polls we got here. I ended up keeping, I ended up sleeving three of them there. Three out of five. I guess three out of, I ended up getting six cards in that pack. 
But it's weird because it says a five card deck. So I guess that one card that I sleeved wasn't a card. So I guess this isn't considered a card. This is just um, a team logo card. So I don't know. I guess it's just like a bonus in there because it only says five cards per pack. And I ended up walking away with six. So I ended up putting this one in the package. Let me take a drink of my nice drink here. And here we go again, and I will um, be keeping this in the sleeve, just for fun. Just for fun, because I don't know really what it is. We have a Luke Shen card that I also put in a sleeve, due to the fact that he played for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And, to follow it up, Steve Mason. Steve Mason also played in the league for quite a bit of time there. He was one of those people that was good, and then... I guess the teams in front of him just didn't play as good as he was. So, let's uh, move on to the Tim Hortons NHL hockey cards, guys. This is a video, or this is the part of the video that I've been pretty excited for. I've been, I've been waiting for this part. I hope that we do pull. I hope that we do pull one, one Toronto Maple Leaf card. There is six of them, so I do hope that we pull one. I don't know if you guys have seen my last poll, but. I pulled a Sidney Crosby, I, and I don't know if it's that exciting, but to me it's really exciting. So I pulled a red Sidney Crosby card, and I'm hoping to pull a Tim Horton, Tim Hortons card. That would be really cool. Alright guys, so I got my pack open here. I didn't struggle at all, so I didn't need my scissors this time. I told you, I'm going to be pro. Pretty soon I'll be pro at opening hockey cards. No hesitation. All right, guys, here we go. And to bust open the first one, we got... Oh, we got a Vancouver player here. We have Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes, guys. So, Quinn Hughes, he's, uh, he's from the upper deck. They call him a defensive man. He's defensive. And he is from the upper deck there. So, he's one of those... You know, holographic silver. I call them silver cards, but they're holographic. I call them silver because all the back is silver, but when they're in the light, they're actually rainbow. So I guess they're holographic, but silver when you look straight onto them. You know what I mean? So we're going to actually keep these cards. I'm just going to put them on top of my pro stack deck here, or my, my heroes and prospects cards there. So I'm just going to add on top there. So, oh, we just pulled ourselves... Uh, John Gibson card, a gold card right here, and we have ourselves a John Gibson gold holograph card. So, that's a pretty cool card. I don't know if he's anything special. Uh, he's nothing really special to me. Yeah, he's a goalie, so I think we, maybe we should protect him, so we should sleeve him. What do you guys think? Should we sleeve him to protect him, or should we just put him on in and just put him in the deck? I think I'm just going to deck him. I'm going to deck him. If you guys think I should sleeve him, put it down in the comments, guys. I'm not 100% sure about these cards. I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this to see what I'm pulling. I'm just trying to get one of the six Toronto cards. And if you guys think I should be putting these in sleeves, please, in the comment box down there, say sleeve them. Sleeve them. Don't leave them. Here we go. Should we sleeve them? Let me know in the comments. If you guys are just tuning in with me now, I'm... Mac Attack, Shane O'Mac, I'm chilling here, I'm opening up some hockey cards, I'm opening up some NHL stickers, and we also opened up a Heroes and Prospect card. And so if you guys are just tuning in, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and feel free to just hang out and uh, hang out in my channel and watch me go along and open some cards here, guys. So we'll go along here and set that one in the card pile, because... It really means nothing. And here we go. We have a uh, Bo Horvert right there, guys. Bo Horvert. He is considered a centerman for the Vancouver Canucks, guys. So it's one of those silver cards. Again, it's a holograph card, a hologram card. On the back, it has the little indents of the player because how he's standing here on the card. It does a little indents there to let you know. Look at me. Look at me. I'm in there. So. I am going to put him on the top, and here we go, guys. I am going to bust open this pack of cards here. Boom, here we go. Oh, here we go. Guys, what do we got? We have a Nicholas Backstrom Upper Deck Holograph card. 
That's not too bad. That's a that's, that's not too bad. Nicholas Backstrom. He's a he's a pretty good scorer. He's a pretty good player in the NHL. He's a pretty good role model for the up and coming NHLers right now. He's uh, he has some wheels. He can really get it going. So he's from the upper deck. He's the holographic card on the back of his deck here. He has also the indent grooves moves of him. So. I think, uh, Nicholas Backstrom, you deserve to be sleeved. Why? I don't know, but I'm going to sleeve him, this Nicholas Backstrom. So, we're going to put Nicholas Backstrom in a sleeve, guys. Make him feel comfortable. Make him feel welcome. Here we go. And our next card here is, oh my God, guys. Oh, guys, we just pulled a Connor McDavid card. Look at that. We just pulled a superstar Connor McDavid card. Not too bad. Not too bad. I didn't mean to say that. I should have said, oh my gosh. But we just pulled a Conor McDavid card. That is really exciting, guys. It's a superstar showcase card. It has the silver trimming on the outside. It's silver on the outside. It has silver backing. So it uh, has silver writing down there. It's actually a really good, really good card overall. He deserves to be sleeved. I am going to sleeve the Connor McDavid card. Yes. All right. Okay, guys. So I guess we sleeve. So we sleeved him. We sleeve him. So we sleeved Nicholas Backstrom. We sleeve Connor McDavid. And to follow up, we got an Alexander Ovechkin card. Guys, it's a uh, it's a normal card. It's one of those upper deck silver holograph cards, but it is. Alexander Ovechkin. So what are we going to do? I think we should sleeve this one. It also has the outline of Alexander Ovechkin on there. It lets you know that he's a left wing, right? Yes, he is a left wing for the Washington Capitals. And what a really great card to pull. So, and uh, everybody knows who Alexander Ovechkin is. Here we go. He's he's running up on the on the on the silver deck there with the Boom. He's the holographic silver. And yeah, so guys, our three three pulls out of that deck were pretty good pulls. And here we go again. We're going for the another open here. And I'm finding it easier to open the packs of cards, which is amazing because it was a little struggle at first. Alright guys, to open up the deck and to surprise you, I, we got... Boom. Here we go, Columbus Blue Jackets. We have Patrick Laine. Okay, okay, what a great pull. Not bad, everybody knows Patrick Laine. He is actually really good. He played for the Winnipeg Jets. So yes, Patrick Laine, his stats are all on the back. He has one of those cards that rub him up in there and you can feel where the outline of him is and on that card, so... Patrick Laine, not bad for a grab. One of those silver upper deck, I guess, holographic cards, as normal people would say. He is going to go into the deck. I think I should sleeve him. But, again, something in my brain is telling me to leave him. So, I think we're just going to leave him. If you guys think I should sleeve him, please, in the comment box, say, pull out your sleeve and put him in there. Feel free. No hesitation, guys. We just got a photo finish card. This is a photo finish of Joel Kivarata, Kivaranta. Kivaranta, I'm pretty sure. I could be pronouncing it wrong, but that's what it sounds like to me. And honestly, I may pronounce her names wrong, but I'm not a perfectionist. I may not be a perfectionist, and I'm just doing my best. Here we go. I don't know really about this card. Uh, it's um, it's just it has silver upper deck. So nothing too fine on it. And yeah, it just tells you a little bit about the game. Oh, he was the game net winner in game seven. In game seven, photo finish. Okay, guys, so here we go. And to top it off, we're closing out with... We're closing out with Jacob, Jacob Backstrom. So here's another goalie. He played for Calgary Flames and... He is uh, from the silver pack, the upper deck, the holographic version, which is, I consider the silver deck version because 
it's all silver when you really look at it frontwards. So I think uh, Nicholas Backstrom, since he's a goalie and everybody needs to protect their goalies, and uh, I kind of like the goalie position, I'm going to protect the goalie and sleeve him. So, guys, I got one more pack of hockey cards to go. And uh, thank you for joining me again and hanging out with me. Again, I'm Mac Attack Shane O'Mac, just hanging out. And if you guys are just hanging out, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and feel free to join me at my journey and all these videos that I plan on posting and hanging out with you guys. So, here we go. We're on our last pull of the night. We're on our last deck of the night. Here we go. No struggling. I didn't have to pull out my scissors. Easy. No hesitation. I think I got this. I think I'm becoming pro at opening packs of hockey cards. Here we go. And surprise. Boom. Here we go. Oh, not bad, not bad. John Gibson. Look at that. I'm pretty sure we pulled a earlier John Gibson that we didn't sleep, guys. I'm pretty sure. Yes, we did. Look at that, guys. So, if I if I know correctly, we pulled them both. Here we go. We got two. Whoops. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Getting too carried away here. Getting too carried away. Okay. So, we got two. I know they're different cards. We got the silver upper deck. We pulled that. We pulled the gold one. I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't know if I should sleeve it or leave it. But we pulled the silver version of Gibson. And we pulled the silver. Silver holographic. And John Gibson is going to go onto the deck. But he is a goalie. So I kind of feel like I should protect the goalies. So maybe I should sleeve them. Remember, remember I did say I, I, I like the goalie position and I should protect the goalies. So, let's uh, let's put the goalie position in here. And we'll pick up this card. And we'll uh, go back and find Gibson in the deck here that I pulled out. And you know what? Because I said protect the goalies, we're going to protect them. But if I should unsleeve them, feel free to tell me I should unsleeve them. Here we go, guys. And... Mark Shyfield. Here we go. Mark Shyfield. It's one of those silver cards. Nothing too exciting for me. Mark Shyfield. Yeah, he's uh he's a great yeah, he's great at his at his game, but he is not my favorite. He is just a player and every, everybody knows him, but to me he's just a player. So, he's nothing special. If you guys think I should sleeve him or leave him, let me know, but right now he is going into the leave him pile. And last but not least, we got Christian uh, Dorvrat right there, Dorvrat. And I probably said his name wrong, but that's what usually happens. I pronounce some of these names wrong because sometimes I do that because sometimes people have weird names and you, just, you don't always get to say their name properly. And don't take offense that I'm pronouncing your name wrong because I am trying, but I am trying. So it's not like I'm just going out of the way just to pronounce your name wrong to pronounce your name wrong. So that is going into the send away pile, my non-sleever. And guys, I think we've got a pretty good, pretty good haul of cards of keeping in here. We ended up keeping a John Gibson. And then we ended up pulling another John Gibson. And then we ended up uh, Mark Backstrom. Or sorry, Jacob Markstrom. Sorry, Nicholas Backstrom. Got them mixed up there. Then we have a Connor McDavid. Then we have Alexander Ovechkin. What a great pull. Then followed that by the Steve Mason card. Yeah, the Steve Mason. And on the back it had his stats. And followed that by Luke Shen on the Prospects and Heroes card. Followed by, I want to say it's a team banner, like a logo that you wear on the crest of your shirt. So, those were my polls tonight, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and enjoying my videos. And uh, hopefully, uh, I will be shooting a live video soon so that you guys can all interact with me while I do this. But, as I make these videos and I'm really having fun doing it, I hope to find something special soon. I hope to find something again that I get to open up with you guys, and if you guys are interested in watching more of my videos, please subscribe and hit that like button, and until next time, I'll see you soon.